Next person is Jennifer Lundy. And Jennifer, um, you were a freelance court reporter in Oklahoma for almost 10 years, so you obviously know, you have knowledge of the law. Recently, you started an organization called Texans for Judicial Accountability. Please tell us why we need an organization like this, what motivated you to start the organization, and what are the goals of the organization specifically as they relate to family court? So I'm going to tell you uh, what got me started in it. Um, I was working for the for Senate offices, and we had a gentleman who had a court case uh, in the county that I was in. He asked me if I would attend, and um, you know we couldn't because I was with the Senate. But he sent all of his information to us, and uh, me being the type of person I am, I read through everything, uh, presented it to our staff, and um, we kept an eye on it. Um, fast forward a few years, I was then working for someone who was running for office and he asked me again if I would come to his hearing because uh, he was about to go to trial. So I went to, uh, I, I asked the person I was working for if they minded if I went. They had been a mayor for uh, many years and they knew about some issues that were going on so they said absolutely I want you to go. Uh, I went uh, to his hearing, the judge I uh, was very upset that I was there. He called um, the person I was working for and said if I came back into his courtroom, he'd make sure I didn't, ha I didn't work in the county again. Uh, they let him know I was working for a state rep at that time. He called them as well and told them the same thing. I uh, let that sit for a, a little bit till elections and all that stuff were over, and then I let the gentleman know what had happened. Um, and he is here tonight, rest and right. Um, he, uh, he asked me to sit tight for a second. He had people from all over the state call me so that I knew it wasn't just the judge that was in this case. It, it's very frequent that this kind of thing happens. Uh, he asked me to follow up the SCJC, the State Commission on Judicial Conduct, and um, whenever I saw how lacking they were um, in, in what they were doing for us, uh, that is what prompted me to start Texas for Judicial Accountability. Thank you, Jennifer. And that's when I first met Jennifer, actually, as well. And Rustin is here. Also, his son, Aiden, is here. You can speak with them later on, if you desire, at the Americans for Parental Equality table. And just my comment on that, that was one of the most crookedest, most crookedest, most crookedest, whatever, yeah, good. cases that I've seen. Not the most crooked, but one of them. I would have said that the judge committed felonies by what he did to the father and son relationship. And I would, I would like to mention that he did take it to the appeals court and the entire thing, five years, was overturned. So it proves what, what was happening. Yay.